Do you feel sometime that you have so much to do and so much to learn that your brains will pop? Well, it happened to me a couple times yesterday and the day before. I'm trying to get my stuff together for the school year. And even if I try very hard, I, every so often I feel that I'm hitting a, a wall. I don't know if it happens to you. My secret, and I'll share that with you, is to learn. Not to be afraid of learning, but you know what? We need to take action in the learning. It makes it easier. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anne Faber. I'm a high school teacher and I am prepping for the beginning of the school year. And guess what? It is always a lot of learning, but this is what makes it exciting. Learning is the ultimate tool to make a better world. And I believe that you can as well. All day I had about five Google Meets virtual meetings about uh, the school year. And you know what? My brain popped a few times. And the reason is that we had so much to remember all at once that I figured that uh, uh, it was too much all at once. And then I realized that it was a lot of information, but there was not as much action I could take because there are still so many questions unanswered yet. So that means that uh, I realized once you have a lot of things you need to remember and learn, but you don't take action on applying what you're learning, it's so much harder to make it happen. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow, I will try to work on a few other things where I can take action and be able to come back maybe next week when I have more information on what I have to do for the school year. And you have to think about that. There's no point in filling your brain with information that you might not be able to use right away but knowing that when it's the right time, you'll be able to maximize what you learn. It's the same thing with technology. I could go online and learn everything about the YouTube channels. And I know that a lot of people are doing that. On the other hand, having one, creating content, makes it that I take action. But every time I make a video, I realize that there's something else I need to do and it's something else that I can make it better. And I believe that's the same for you. It is important because when you take action, you are getting out of your head and you are actually creating emotion. Uh, I remember, uh, what's his name? Uh, Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins talks about that. Sometimes when we are filled with emotion and we feel we're not, we not going forward, backward, and we don't know what to do. Often, motion is the best way to, uh, to move forward because uh, emotions without motion, uh, often we stay still and we don't go uh, as much further as, I would as we would like, keeping that in mind. So I just came back from nice walk. It's nice outside. I feel more refreshed. Is a good time for video here. And tonight I'm going to work on a few other projects that I have on the go. Because when you take action, you can complete a few things to free up some mental energy for something else later on. My next story, story is about the fact that often when we have a lot of things to learn, we have a lot of things to do, we feel a little bit of anxiety. For some, it's a lot of anxiety. When my brain popped earlier, it felt that uh, I just hit a wall and there's nothing I could do. But what we have to take care is we is the fact that we cannot let anxiety uh, undermine the joy of what we're doing. And that's important because if we let the anxiety build up, what happens is we're not, we're not going to move forward or backward and we'll be on a standstill. So that's why I went for a walk outside. It helped me quite a bit. And the main reason is when there's an anxiety, nothing gets done, not as efficient as it could be. So here you do not want to let your anxiety undermine the joy of doing what you like. Because it does happen when you cook muffins and you try something and you, or a new recipe and it's not working. Well, there's a little bit of anxiety. On the other hand, we are enjoying what we're doing. And that's what we have to focus on. The joy and the process of where we want to go. So I have three tips for you to be less anxious and be more uh, enjoying what you need to do and be able to achieve more. My first one is my main word, my one word, which is learn. The more you learn, the more you can find ways to answer questions, ways to make a process more efficient. Uh, you can learn um, new ways so that you can uh, set aside old ways of thinking. And that's when growth mindset 
uh, happens. And it is important. My second tip to lessen the uh, anxiety is to take action. Because when you take action, you are focusing on what you're doing and you have less energy to focus on anxiety. And the beauty of it is when you step forward, when you can actually achieve some, um, some milestones, the beauty of that is that anxiety decreases just by that. So at the end, it's a vicious circle. You take action, anxiety lessens. You are taking more action, you feel more comfortable, and then anxiety uh, diminishes, and therefore it's a vicious circle. It's a positive uh, outcome for you. My third tip to lessen anxiety is to teach what you know, or you teach what you learn. And the reason for that is once you're learning something, but knowing you have to teach it to somebody else, you're focusing on the intent of learning to take action afterwards. And that is something amazing. Students that can teach others learn much faster. Teachers that can teach other teachers become better teacher. The same way as CEOs and executives that can teach others how to do their job better become better executives or CEO. And it is something to keep in mind because by teaching it, you are becoming better and you are at the same time growing your leadership skills. So when you think of growth mindset, that's the ultimate way to lessen anxiety. I'm not saying that there won't be any anxiety because it's all part of our lives. On the other hand, there are ways to lessen it. And don't forget, if at some point you're not quite sure and you get stuck, ask for help. That's what I did this morning. You go and you find information you can need from colleagues that can help you, from videos from which you can learn, and then by taking action, you get closer to achieving your goals. So today, my call to action is the following. All I want you to do is to help someone. It could be someone from your family. It could, you could help someone in your workplace. It could be someone in the neighborhood. It could be someone uh, even at the cafe you go ever so often holding a door to somebody. The reason is when you help someone, it, it uh, decreases anxiety because you're no longer focusing on you only, but you're focusing on helping others. And that is a key to growth mindset as well. I'm going to put here a link to my playlist video on my best life journey. Today's uh, message was lessening uh, anxiety so that we can enjoy life a little bit more. Let's see if we can go to the next video on a similar topic.